going around the other way, which he's got to do today. He ran no good in the Adelaide Cup, yep. no good in the South Australian St Ledger. All his best forms at Randwick. Uh, he's got a lot of weight. He's going to be short odds. Oh, I'm a bit with you. I think Vitamin is the horse of the future. Now, Vitamin was a horse I noticed in Brisbane in the winter, and he impressed me, the look of him, and he ran just behind the place getters in the derby. Uh, here's the, and then uh, he come back and won a 1,400-metre race first up, and this is what he did last start at Mowie. Vitamin went for home, and he kicked well clear. Biter Man is well out in front of the 200 metre mark. Magneto coming home well second, followed by Voodoo Beat and Toilet ahead of the others. But Biter Man is travelling like a winner at the 100. He's well out in front. He's got the cup one. Biter Man far too good. And Biter Man wins it well. Biter Man by three and a half lengths to Voodoo Beat ahead away third to Magneto. Now he's, he's got to go from 2,050 metres there to 2,500, which is a, a big jump. And uh, he's no moral, but no. Uh, I just think linesman at short odds, not for Kenny. I think he is your up and counter too, Ken, because in that race at Moe, he pulled early you know mouth wide open you you wouldn't think he, he he has things to learn to become a really competent distance stayer and and if he's learnt from that run I, I agree that the distance today might be a bit tough but if he doesn't make the mistakes he made at Moe, I think he can make that step up he'll, he'll park on uh, lines but normally say. this race throws a lot of light on the Melbourne Cup this year it's makes no difference exactly I don't know if it does you know only two Mooney Valley Cup winners have won the Melbourne Cup in the last 44 years yeah but have a look at how many place getters and horses running third or fourth yeah. uh, um, there's a lot of horses that have run just in behind them in the Mooney Valley Cup they come out and run very very well and you generally see more Mooney horses Cup. in the movie Mooney Valley Cup lead, using it as a lead up, lead up. And, and there's just not many about terrific know. run fourth when I am um, in the Mooney Valley Gold Cup and it was an excellent run he went on to win the Melbourne Cup and yeah. there's a lot of horses like that Kingston Rule did. Kingston Rule. But in those days, you got a penalty, so they stopped it. Yeah, yeah the, the only Melbourne Cup point of the day is Linesman. If yeah. Linesman wins by six lengths, he's in the Melbourne Cup, Cup up to his ears. If he runs fourth, he's got he, no hope. He's 50 to 1 in the Melbourne Cup. Another great race here today will be the Waterford Crystal Mile, and the horse that everybody wants to tip is the Jack Denham train King Ivor, which Shane Dye pointed on this program last Sunday, following a super run in this race won by Monet's Cove at Caulfield. King Ivor's on the left of screen in red colours. He must have been seven and eight wide at one stage. He just never got on the track, and this day that was suiting horses on the pace on the inside, and he was like four or five and eight deep down the side. He's got Jimmy on him. He's got a good barrier. He's got a great chance today. He'll be hard to beat. Yeah, I'm definitely not the one to go against King Ivor. I, I, I think um, he's got a great chance of winning that race this afternoon. Don't leave Saboom out. He's, he's a horse that'll give his all all day, and uh, he's, he's got a chance. They scratched him yesterday for today. You riding in that race? Yeah, I'm riding a horse called Pragmatism. He's got a chance. Clary's brought him down here. Um, he can run very good races at times, and he's got a light weight, and he's got a chance in the race. And a good barrier. It helps, especially in mile races around here. You need a good barrier. But it is pragmatism. He can do anything. That's yeah. the horse I got suspended on, and the start before that, Glenn Boss rode me run out, but he'll be all right. He only moves a horse or two. Yep. OK, you'll see the Grosby Gull Cup live at 2.55. You'll see the Waterford Crystal Mile live at 10 minutes after 4 during the cricket. OK, time for a tote update on the upcoming race with Kenny Callender. Yes, thanks, John. The Aerosport Sprint, and from the top, 92 Grand Bay, Sir Swayze into 15 to 2, 7.5 to 1, $8.50 for a dollar investment on Supertab. Ruling Regent is a scratching. Chanter down from Canberra for Barbara Joseph is at 8 to 1. All inquiries, 270 now. Yep, between 13 to 8 and 7 to 4. Martego at 16 to 1, 6 to 1, Just Nelson. Just Sterling at 14 to 1. Zajinski is out. 10 to 1, High Stream. 16 to 1, Merchant Bank. And Siri Nelg is out. Well, all inquiries, lads. Anyone arguing with that? No, I thought the run the other day of Just Nelson was quite sensational. It was a thousand metres, and he really needs a bit further. He ran very, very well at Sandown, but there's no doubt um, all inquiries is the horse to beat. There's a query on Graham Babe whether she'll run the um, or he'll run the um, distance, the 1200. But uh, what are you tipping, Simon? Yeah, look, I, I understand your query on Grand Bay, but it was three starts back here over the 1,200 that uh, he won well. He, he beat Del Sol. Now, that form holds up a little bit. So, Definitely. Um, Grand Bay, I think, has learnt. He was, you know, we used to call him just the 1,000-metre speedster, but I think now he can, he can travel the 6 OK as long as he doesn't race too fiercely early. So he's got to be a pretty good each-way chance in the race. Well, all inquiries is drawn barrier one. It's going to get the run of the race with Damien on, and uh, there's no doubt that's a horse to beat. Yeah, uh, all inquiries. He's trained by Jim Mason. He's one of the big uh, contract racing syndicate string racers in the lime colours, if you're looking for him. 
uh, and has won its last two at Mooney Valley. Uh, he has won his last two at Mooney Valley and Benalla. John Tapp, do you like all inquiries? Yeah, I do, Ken. I think I'll jump on the uh, Damien Oliver bandwagon. He's got the wind behind him. The other horse I mentioned, Just Nelson, he drew barrier two with Greg, uh, Greg Charles on. He's a grey horse. Now, he'll be running just behind all inquiries, and he'll finish off very, very strongly. That's chanted there in the yellow and red, uh, who looks like it's going to be last to go in. Remember... Larry Cassidy has replaced Darren Biedman on Chanted. Uh, Darren won't be riding for the rest of the day, and uh, Stephen King is not riding today. And don't forget, uh, this race live, of course, and also the big ones at Ali Double in Victoria. You'll see live uh, race five is the uh, Grosby Gold Cup, and, of course, race seven, the Waterford Crystal Mile. 2.55 and 4.10. Hope you've all put your clocks forward for daylight saving. That's uh, Eastern uh, Summertime, and uh, you'll see both of those races live on the night nine network during the cricket on the wide world of sports right chanted i don't think there's any problem uh, for chanted not going in there must be uh, one in the stalls playing up just a tad ken whilst waiting for chanted to move in for larry cassidy a reminder about our melbourne cup preview